hi guys welcome to the alpha wolf channel today's video is a very very interesting one today's video is one of those videos where i'm not really coming to teach you teach you teach you about make money online make money online. i'm teaching you about life skills personal development personal growth skills that can literally change your life i use this i do this and it works that is why i'll be teaching it now i'll be teaching you about the power of gratitude i'm sure you must have read it in church pastor must have preached about it. a lot of people have said something about it but trust me if this is not true it is not important i won't be saying it on this channel it is something i've tried personally there was a point in my life where things were not working the way i wanted it to especially when i started my make money online journey and i'm sure everybody that have done this they had their low points their low moments i was there what literally saved me is gratitude how did i stumble on this i've always read bible and you know the whole part of us being grateful to god be thankful i hear pastor preach it all the time but to be honest with you guys this stuff changed when I got a 60 days um, personal growth course by Robin Sharma. It is called Hero Genius, something Hero Genius Legend, something like that. And the first topic the guy talked about had to do with um, the topic of daily small wins. The second one was on gratitude. And in that gratitude, you talk about idonic adaptation. When people get what they want, they become so comfortable that they forget that there was a time that thing that they have now was a prayer point for them and they take it for granted, right? And he said, the best way you can change your life, the only way you can change your life is for you to always be grateful. You need to be intentional about gratitude. And this is simply because man by nature is wired to be ungrateful. We get carried away by the things we don't have. We get too comfortable and we begin to complain when we see that, you know, the things we desire are not there forgetting that there are a lot of blessings we have around us on daily basis a lot of you can breathe you can see you can hear you can think you can eat you are not in the hospital bed you know you are not homeless even if you don't have money to eat all the chicken and buy the beans or whatever you have in the world your legs are functioning you can walk you can drink water you can do a lot of stuff and there are many reasons why you should be grateful but for some reasons you focus on those big things you don't have and look at the small little things that god has blessed you with that if those ones are not there it can jeopardize your life forever in fact the reason you pursue a lot of big things is because the small ones you have a person that doesn't have leg will not be looking to buy a car you know i'm not here to make anybody like you know talk about people that are physically challenged or something i'm just trying to tell you to look at your life there's something to be grateful for there's something to appreciate right there's a popular proverb that says that um, let me paraphrase it, it says I was angry at the fact I have no shoes until I met the man that had no leg. So basically, the person was complaining that he doesn't have shoe. He's always striking with his bare foot and whatever. But until the day he saw somebody begging and the person did not have leg, that is when he realized that, oh, my own problem is just shoe. There's somebody out there that doesn't even have leg. No matter how bad your situation is, there is somebody out there that is seeing you as a prayer point. If you think Mm, that your situation is so bad you are broke you don't have money you don't have anything to feed on so many things are wrong in your life there's somebody that is not mentally stable or on the hospital bed that is praying to god that god if only i can be okay i can be healthy i can be comfortable oh i am okay in this life there are a lot of people that are ready to exchange their wealth for that good health you have so if the problem you have in life is just money honestly i don't think it is a major problem you know as far as it is not health as far as it is not mental issue it is just money money can be gotten anytime right so the point is make gratitude become a core area of your life become so grateful that everything around you assumes gratitude even when things are not working because there are days that you'll be very low you'll be depressed you'll be there's nothing you just look left and right and you think there's nothing to be grateful for i'm telling you that there are so many things to be grateful for so what do i do you need to journal right you need to journal your gratitude what is journaling journaling simply means writing down things you are grateful for look at my journal what i do every morning is i take my barrel and i write 10 things i am grateful for 10 things i'm grateful for you know and when i write 10 i'm always so happy because at the end of the day i'll be like wow there's so much to be grateful for let me just read one of my 10 stuff on my gratitude list and i'm sure a lot of you can connect with this because you are grateful for that i said i'm grateful for good health financial prosperity shelter and clothing one number two i said i'm grateful for my mother she's in perfect health condition and there's no she has no cause for sickness and i said i'm grateful for the growth of my youtube channel and having more subscribers on my channel i'm grateful for you guys i'm grateful for my streams of income that they are still functioning and i'm still surviving you, you know the fact that you're making money doesn't mean that you have all the knowledge in the world figure that it's just because yes god is so faithful god is amazing and you have to show gratitude and i said i'm grateful for 
my, my brain is working perfectly and I'm mentally sound. I can imagine how it will look like if I'm mentally unstable. No matter the knowledge I have, I cannot share anything with anybody. And I said, I'm grateful that I can sleep peacefully. It is a great blessing to sleep. I know somebody that couldn't sleep for a period. And you know, in the night, the person will just open eyes. Wow. So if you can sleep and wake up, oh my God, big testimony. You know, there was a point where I was staying with somebody in the hospital for marathon days. In the midnight, I cannot sleep. Thank God that you are not even in the hospital taking care of somebody that is sick, right? So I said, I'm grateful that I can sleep peacefully. I'm grateful that my sister has finally gotten uh, there's something that she was expecting and also gotten a new phone. As little as that is, her phone was stolen and in the process she was expecting something to, she got both of them and I wrote it in my gratitude list. And I said, I am grateful that my blood pressure is perfect yes a lot of young people if you go and check your bp your bp is i was a point when i was working so i had my blood pressure increased and i had to manage my health and i'm grateful i've been living a healthy life making money from the comfort of my home so it is something worth being grateful for and that is number nine the number ten i left that pant empty that particular day and do you know what happened i was waiting for something that happened because i wrote my gratitude list in the morning and then i got a major alert and i said i'm thankful that i got so so amount of money today that i was not expecting and that is how gratitude works when you write these little things you can see that in my gratitude list there's nothing like i bought a car there's nothing like um, i got a new job or whatever just basic simple things looking around you to be grateful for and trust me you will see how your life will improve if you have anything you're grateful for don't be shy don't be ashamed that in the comment section i will want to see you guys show your gratitude to god get a book or a paper or a jotter or your mobile phone every morning when you wake up journal down and write things you are grateful for and see what is going to happen to your life you will go from being the person that is depressed and always angry and always disappointed to becoming a person that is genuinely grateful for all the blessing he has and the interesting thing is that once you begin to show gratitude the universe will continue to give you more there is always more giving to the person that says thank you for the previous one. But if you continue to complain, you will always see the problems you have. And before I go, I'm going to leave you with one quote. I heard this from Robin Sharma. I don't know if he's the original owner of the quote. He says something that there is nothing wrong with the word. The only thing that is wrong with us is our perception of the word. The word is the way the word is. So if you are always seeing the word, that the word is against you, it is attacking you, the word is evil towards you, things are not working for you, then it is coming from you because somebody else is looking at that same word that you are looking at and the person is so grateful and thankful because everything is working for him or her. So if you want to change the word, you need to look within and change yourself. Guys, if you want me to make content like this, yeah, leave a comment and tell me, oh, I find it very interesting. Thank you for sharing this. Make more inspirational, motivational content and because of the love i have for you guys if this video can only touch one person's life trust me i am very very okay and i've benefited so much from that i will continue to make content like this bye for now i hope to see you in my next video for the new guys don't forget to subscribe alpha wolf signing out i love you guys